Hi, this is Fiona from Team Hutchess and Ford with some little Tuesday tips on your next generation uh, Ranger, in particular the touch screen. Um, I'm sitting in a, a next generation Ranger Wildtrak. Um, quite a lot to take in as far as the new touch screen goes. Um, quite different from in my day when a six stack CD was pretty uh, exciting to get. So no more CDs these days, just your uh, connectivity with your Bluetooth, your Spotify. As you can see on this screen I've got my Apple CarPlay up and running. To easily go back to the car's navigation maps you just touch the little dots up the top, touch navigation, it takes you back to the car's navigation map there. I'll just go back to the Apple CarPlay again. The, this along here is your air conditioning, heat, heated seats, temperature controls. This part of the screen is always constant. This section here are tabs that you might have previously looked at. So I can actually maximise those if I wanted by touching the wee cross up the top and that makes these larger. To swipe these away you simply pull them downwards like that, downwards like that and it gets rid of those um, applications you might have previously looked at. Most people like to keep that minimised, so have that screen a bit bigger, and these ones along here a bit smaller. Another wee feature not everybody may know, but when you touch the little vehicle here, it takes you to your car's controls and settings. Auto hold is a really nice feature. It means that when you've stopped at the lights, you don't need to sit there continually with your foot on the brake. You can uh, release your, your or take your foot off the brake once your car's come to com a complete halt, and the car will hold and drive until you're ready to drive off again. When I touch the driver assist settings, you might have wondered, and I don't know if anybody's had a wee look at this, but down here you've got some little eyes. And they're really helpful if you think, well, oh, what is speed limit assist? Well, you might go, how does my lane keeping work? What, what exactly is that? And if you hit the little eye, it gives you a nice little diagram of what happens and a good description of what lane keeping system is. So you can pretty much hit an eye along any of those functions. So very helpful when you're sort of working your way around the screen and you think, well, well, I'm not sure what that is, what does that mean? So I can just hit that, I can go back to my Apple CarPlay and away we go. So hopefully that helped, helped you there and um, anything else of interest I will be back to let everybody know. Thanks, bye.